In Iran, a 3G license was issued uh, just two, three days ago, um, and just over 2,000 sites um, are ready for, for, for 3G launch. So we, we anticipate that we will be able to, to, to get off the starting blocks with the delivery of the 3G service in Iran very, very quickly. For Iran, the, um, well, the actual cash that they have in the operations is, is about um, uh, about 4 billion rand, 4 and 400 million dollars, uh, thereabouts, a little bit over. The, um, but what, what is owed by the RAN entity to Nigeria, I mean to, to the MTN group, uh, in terms of dividends and loans, it, it totals about 900 million dollars. We still haven't repatriated, um, you know, since the last time we talked. The, um, but we, we're in engagement with the authorities, OFAC, um, the Ra Iranian uh, Central Bank and you know the relationship is very cooperative so we're still working with them and they're working with us to 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 um, you know find a way to to repatriate the, those funds. There has been a partial easing of sanctions and some funds made available uh, which ex I think expired towards the end of July and they extended it uh, about four months um, so we've got another four months really uh, un under, the, under the current arrangements to, to, to find a solution. I mean, we have identified an avenue that we're working um, with them to, to, to um, uh, you know, come about. Um, there have been previous avenues that, that we've um, gone through quite extensively, done due diligence, uh, well, in fact, done due diligence, etc. But for, for um, one reason or the other, they have not come off, but there is a route we, we're currently under discussions with, with all those authorities that uh, we, we are trying to, um, ho hopefully we can get um, within the four months, but, but there, are, there are quite a number of complications. So. South Africa had quite a challenging period during the first quarter, uh, sorry, during the first half of, uh, of 2014. Uh, however, I am pleased to say that during the second quarter uh, of the first half, um, we have seen some very uh, good um, improvement across the board. So we had um, a challenging subscriber growth with our market share declining to just, above, just below 32%, um, driven mainly by uh, competitive uh, our, or our non-competitive performance in the prepaid uh, market. Um, we had net ads, uh, a negative net ads of 430,000 uh, subscribers in the first half, and this was impacted by the disconnections which we did report due, uh, that took place in the first quarter. For the second quarter, however, we had a positive net ads of 394, um, and we have also seen from a net promoter score, which is uh, a measure that we we, we use uh, with respect to our subscriber and customer satisfaction. We've seen improvements uh, in the second quarter. Revenue is down, however, 3.4%. Um, outgoing voice revenue is down 8.6%. And, and we did have a headline tariff decline uh, to about um, 79 cents in order to ensure that our, um, our offerings in the market became more competitive as it was clear to us, uh, especially during the early stages of quarter one, that uh, we were completely uncompetitive as far as the postpaid market, sorry, the prepaid market uh, was concerned. As I indicated earlier on, uh, we did have a traffic decline um, as a direct result of uh, uncompetitive offers, and the traffic decline was about 23.5%, uh, and we have seen an improved an improvement um, in the second quarter. Incoming voice um, revenue down 30% uh, with the uh, termination, uh, blended termination rate down to 25% as a direct result uh, of the asymmetry that was introduced um, uh, through the regulator. Data revenue is up just about 14% and now contributes 23.4% uh, of, of South Africa's revenue. 